Hello everyone and welcome to some of y'all's favorite videos here. I'm certainly excited to open this up. Can't really show you the box yet because uh, my address is all over this. However, Stitch Fix, Stitch Fix, who's ready? I am to open this up with you all because I only know some of the things that are going to be in here. That's right, I actually did do my preview this time. So uh, if you don't know, Stitch Fix, real quick, styling service online that you can sign up for. It is not a subscription. You do not have to get it every single month. You can get it whenever the heck you want. Every two weeks, every two years, they don't care. There, it's there for you. <laughs> you just go online and schedule your fix. You can set it up like a subscription. I've got it set up to come to me every two months and you get five items in each box. It's $20 to get your box and then anything that you want to keep from your box. You know, they do clothing, accessories, shoes, bags, scarves, jewelry, that sort of stuff. They've got plus size, they've got men's, they've got kids. And then if you decide to choose to keep anything, if you decide to choose, <laughs> if you decide that you want to keep anything, uh, the $20 that you paid to get your fix will go towards the items that you choose to keep. And also if you choose all five of the items to keep, then you get a 20, I believe it's 25% off of the whole thing. So that's awesome. But yeah, here was the preview where they send you 10 items that they were thinking about sending you and you can choose up to five of them. And if you don't choose five of them, they'll just fill in the blanks for you. First off, they offered me these Dolce Vita sneakers, these Amino sneakers. They're fine. I just, I don't really like need a ton of shoes right now um, or any shoes right now. I mean, listen, I'll make exceptions, but like these are just, they're fine. They look like nice slip on sneakers, but I didn't need them. So I passed on those as far as I can remember. We then got this Gracie five piece earring set that just, it's fine. They're just, they're fine little sparkles, but I, I'm not crazy about any of them and I don't need them. So I passed on these. Some jeans, uh, they're pull-ons. The Gia Glider pull-on skinny jean from Liverpool. I think I was kind of humming and hawing over, oh, maybe I could try those out. It's a little more whiskering than I personally enjoy, but like a good pull-on pant. Yeah, now that I'm in my thirties, <laughs> uh, I can enjoy. But uh, that price tag though, no thank you. I passed on those. <laughs> I think you can probably guess what I did with this one. Um, this Rudy long sleeve cardigan. Listen, I know I don't need another cardigan in my wardrobe. I have so many, but like, I love a good cardigan and these polka dots. Like, yeah, I got that. <laughs> We're gonna try that on. We also got this skirt. Did I actually? I might have selected this skirt. I think it was one that I was kind of like, eh, I don't know. This is the tribal pull on skort. Oh, skort with curved hem. I think I might have chosen it, but I was definitely a little like, uh, I don't know, because like usually the flat front skirts, they just kind of emphasize my fupa, which I'm not the biggest fan of. But I think, you know, with the pinstriping and those big pockets, I think I might have chosen this skort. And like, when's the last time I've owned or worn a skort? Probably like sixth grade. I don't know. We can try that. I think I chose to try that. We'll find out. <laughs> We've also got these shorts from Liverpool. This is the Corinne denim short. I think I passed on these just because I have shorts that look like exactly like this. <laughs> so I think I passed. This plain green t-shirt. It's one of those things that like, yeah, I would wear it. It's from Market and Spruce, the Elaine pocket short sleeve top. It looks nice and baggy and comfortable, but like I don't need it. So I'm pretty sure I passed on that. Now this one from Nine Breton, the Ryland double flutter sleeve knit top. I mean, <laughs> I love a good striped shirt. If you know me, you know me. And this one, I think I was originally gonna pass on it because I thought it was just a plain t-shirt. And then I noticed the sleeves having that double flutter on there, that could be very cute and comfy for the summer. So, and especially for that price, I'm down. I'm, I selected that for sure. And then this, another Market and Spruce Elaine pocket short sleeve tee. It's in the stripes, you know, it's one of those things. Yeah, I would wear it, but do I need it? No. So pretty sure I passed on that. And then this Monday fun Veronica smocked sleeve blouse. Just not my style, don't need it. 
you know, all that kind of stuff. Pretty sure the material looks like the kind of material that doesn't breathe. So like, yeah, definitely passed on that. So I went ahead and added a note for my stylist since I only chose three items out of those 10 and you get five in every fix. I needed two more items. So I wrote a note here. I just said, I've got basics covered for the most part in my wardrobe. So I'd like pieces that are unique and stand out on their own maybe a dress or a blouse. So we shall see how those blanks were filled in and we will see when we open up the fix. So you also, you get a pre-stamped mailer bag in your fix so that any returns or exchanges are covered. Uh, they also send you some info about the items that we will look at later. I don't want to spoil it. All right, but inside of the box, we have got things. So let's take a look at these things. I am very excited about it. Ba -ba -da -ba. What is this? Is this a blouse or a dress? A blouse, okay. It looks lightweight. We love the stripes. It's like a, a green with a very pale green. It's not quite a cream, although it might look like that from far away. It looks like, you know, it's got the little tassel, tassel? Is that what that would be called? The button up thing so that you can either have these tucked up or not on your arm. This is from Fortune and Ivy, the Blake tie front blouse so we do have can we see a tie front at the bottom looks like it's a little high low I don't know I mean this might be it might be one of those things that once I put on I really like it just looking at it like this I'm kind of like eh, it's okay oh no is this rayon it kind of feels like it might be rayon <laughs> It kind of feels like the kind of rayon that would not wash in the washer well I mean when I'm good I'm good <laughs> shoot I should have put that down that's my bad I just rayon it's such a crap shoot like this it just it's kind of like a linen-y feel this one and I feel like this is the kind that once you put it in the wash I don't care if you use cold or warm or hot water whatever you put it through the dryer or you don't I've tried every single way and this kind of rayon usually I can't tell without actually washing it but usually it just like shrinks up and becomes really stiff and like awful so, meh, bummer. Uh, next up, we've got this t-shirt. So excited about these little flutter sleeves. So cute. I think they had called this a burnt orange, but I'm actually very happy. I mean, burnt orange would have been nice too, but this is kind of more of like a salmon-y taupe. It's a really nice, nice color there. At least I think it tends to look pretty good on my skin coloring for a nice neutral. But yeah, it just feels like a nice, soft t-shirt. I'm really excited about that. Let's see, we'll save that one for last since I don't know what it is. Uh, but we've got this cardigan it's so soft oh it's so soft i really don't even need to dry this on to tell you that i'm gonna love this oh my gosh i love the polka dots it's kind of an open knit yeah you can see that there so that's nice it'll be nice and airy for me i mean i get a little nervous with this kind of a thing because my cat's claws <laughs> are definitely gonna get stuck in this while they're making bi biscuits. Um, but either way, really cute, really soft. I love the colors of the polka dots. We've got some blue, green, gold, and magenta, like an orchid, or like an olive color. Yeah, I mean, this is just, this is, this is me. <laughs> very cute and then the skort we did try the skort nice and stretchy you would never know this is a skort okay so it's different from a normal skort and like do we remember skorts from the 90s the at least the ones that i wore where yes it looks like a skirt in the front but then in the back it was shorts or you could tell that it was shorts this one it's not it looks like a skirt all around but it's got like built-in biker shorts kind of a thing so not necessary for me i always wear shorts underneath these anyways but it's kind of nice that it's built in honestly and yeah it's just a pull-on so really nice and stretchy excited to get that on my bod see how that does and then last but not least we have this dress from fortune and ivy you know the print doesn't really look like my thing oh and it's a tank I don't like sleeveless because I hate my arms. I know something I need to work on but like this is just not <laughs> me at all. It just looks like a straight up and down with a high neck no sleeves. It's very soft. I'll give it that credit but just not my style like at all so I'll still try it on for you guys but uh, there are definitely some pieces in here that I'm more excited about than others but who knows this is part of the fun about Stitch Fix sometimes they surprise me and something that I would have never even put on my body before once I get it on I fall in love so let's go ahead and do that 
let's see how things turn out. All right, Dan is here for the fashion show. He's so happy about it. Um, Milo is currently sleeping, so he cannot give us meows of approval. Um, but Mina? Yeah, near me. Um, so this is top number one. It feels very large on me. Um, I mean, comfy around the boobs, which I'm always a fan of when we can actually not pull at the boobies. But uh, yeah, I do like the low V of it. I do. Um, and I do like that it fits over my arms and I have range of motion in my arms. That's nice. Um, but how do, how do we feel overall? I feel like I'm wearing a tent. Does it look like I'm wearing a tent? Do you no. like the tent? It's okay. Not my typical style, but that's all right. Um, can we get meows of approval? Meow. <laughs> so we got one meow. Yeah. <laughs> Out of five, though, I mean that's not a great score. Yeah, no. Okay. She's a very strict judge. <laughs> one meow. We're getting we're getting one meow on this, and I think I mean at least from what I can see in the viewfinder and everything, I can kind of conclude. I mean, I like the idea of it. Yeah, it just execution on me. I'm just not sure is quite there. I don't know. I suppose I could probably like tie it tighter or something and make it a bit more form fitting, but it's rayon, so I'm not gonna keep it anyways. All right. Shirt number two, we've got our flutter sleeves. They're so fluttery. It feels mm. good. Mm -hmm. Do we like the sleeves? I like the shirt. Huh? I like the sleeves. Mm. How many meows? I'd give it four meows. Yeah, four, four meows. Yeah, and then the skort is the other item. Now, when you think of skorts, do you do you know what a skort is? No. Okay, he gets no opinion then. <laughs> I was telling them I'm used to the ones from the '90s where like the front looks like a skirt, but then in the back it's shorts. That's what a skort traditionally was. But this one, it just looks like a skirt. Mm -hmm. But there's shorts built in, baby. No entree. Yes. <laughs> Just appetizer. But, I mean, it pulls right on. Fits nice. It's nice and stretchy. It's a little loose, but I kind of like that so that it's not clinging to any fupa action. What do we think? I like it. Give it another four meows. <laughs> another four! Okay. Yeah. We've got nice big pockets and... Mm -hmm. I was hoping someone left me a 20 in here, but super dry. To keep your pockets dry. Don't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, here is the skort. What do you guys think? Like I said, it's a little, it's a little baggy, but I kind of, I'm kind of digging it. It feels good. It feels nice. It feels comfy. I could, oh, is that you? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I was busy, I was busy stretching, stretching my legs. I mean, that's pretty impressive, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm down. And then, last but not least, we have the, the sleeveless dress that I have coordinated perfectly with this cardigan. It's it's a dress. I mean, you know, it it's just kind of there. And then cardigan. Oh, it's so comfy, so polka dot, so soft. Dan's probably thinking another cardigan. I don't. Know. You don't already own a hundred. How many meows for the dress? Uh, the dress, I, I do like the dress. That one also gets another four meows. Wow. Well, it looks pretty on you. Oh. 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 Oh, that's a good baby. Cardigan, how many meows? Uh, three. Three meows for the cardigan. Yeah. Yeah, it does kind of feel not as fabulous as when I look at it, which makes me a little sad. But it's probably a good thing because I really don't need another cardigan, but I love the thought of this cardigan so much that I'm like trying to battle my brain. 
saying, no, Cassie, it looks so good, but I don't know that it actually does. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. It looks like a pretty average length, like halfway down the booty. The dress is a little bit on the long side on me. It goes below the knee, but... It is what it is, my friends. Yeah. That was, that's the stuff. Now let's go and talk some more about the stuff. Doesn't that sound fun? Yes. Let's okay. go talk about stuff. Yeah. All right, so some surprising results, I would say there, but uh, let's go ahead and say, oh, Hello to our stylist and see what they had to say about what they sent my way. We got Carly today. Happy fix day. Hopefully you've been soaking up the sun in Minnesota. Thrilled to see you're looking for unique pieces. With that in mind, chose the dress. The brush knit fabric offers both comfort and style. Perfect for making a statement at any event. Ah, you can pair it with the cardigan for a touch of elegance on cooler evenings. I wouldn't say that that cardigan is elegant, but but I saw the colors matching in there. Additionally, the blouse with its tie front is another unique piece that will elevate your wardrobe. Try pairing it with the skort for a playful, sophisticated look. These selections are designed to bring that extra flair you're seeking. Enjoy trying everything on, and until next time. Well, thank you, Carly. But overall, yeah, let's review these prices and everything. I'm mainly just thinking about keeping the skort and then the t-shirt. The cardigan's 49 bucks, and like I said, that is a good price for a nice knit cardigan. I just, like I said, I don't feel like it looked very special on me, you know? I don't know if it was the fit or what was going on, but as much as I love that cardigan, I don't think I'm gonna keep it sad, but if I'm not going to wear it, there's no point in spending money on it. Uh, the tie front blouse is a great price, 44 bucks for that. It feels like a very nice, you know, blouse. I just... I can't take that risk on rayon. The double flutter sleeve t-shirt is 39 bucks. We love that. Pull on skort is 58 bucks. But you know, for a skort that pulls on that easy and that I'll wear a lot since it's that comfortable, I see no problem there. And then the dress is only 49 bucks. So that is awesome. I mean, it's not something I'm gonna keep, but still good price. So if I were to keep everything, get the discount, put my credits and all that stuff towards it, it'd be 134 bucks or well, 134.25 uh, to keep everything, but I, I don't need to keep everything. <laughs> no point in doing that if they're just gonna clutter up my wardrobe. Also, if you are interested in checking out Stitch Fix for yourself, I always have my affiliate link down below. Anyone can be an affiliate. It's not because I have a YouTube channel, but if you wanna check out Stitch Fix, not only will that link uh, get you some money off, I believe it waives the styling fee for your first fix. So essentially you can get your fix and not keep anything and essentially the fix would have been for free, but obviously if you want to keep some of the clothes, you gotta pay for the clothes. <laughs> um, and then it also earns me some kickback, which I usually just spend on clothes from Stitch Fix. So you guys can certainly let me know what your thoughts are. Am I wrong about the cardigan or anything else? I mean, like I said, just let me know in those comments below. Also, if you are new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe by tippity tapping that notification bell down below and becoming a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye.